you know, um, I just wanted to take a quick second to give you guys a tutorial on how to remove your EKG sensors if you have a hairy chest. Um, so recently my husband was hospitalized. It was terrible, but he's doing much, much better. Um, when he came home, he had a bunch of V's all over his chest and flank. Um, and when I was at work, he ripped off five of these um, out of 12. So when I came home, he just looked so sick and so pitiful. And he said, I can't do any more. And I said, dude, no, like, let me help you. <laughs> like, I can, I can get these off. So what you do, you get some acetone. It's really great for... Um, dissolving adhesive you want to get yourself a brush a little brush this one was a dollar from elf i don't even know if they continue to sell this version it's pretty old but um the best thing about it is that it's flat a paintbrush would be fine um even honestly if you don't have any brushes um you could probably just use uh like a paper towel fold it a couple of times and use the corner to kind of brush the um, the acetone around the perimeter. So you want to get as close underneath as you can, but if it's completely flush, just the side is fine. Just the side. And then um, it's going to lift up a little bit and um, and then you, you use some scissors to snip what you can. It's not gonna be a lot and it's slow going. I would recommend using um, hair shears if you have them because they are less likely to pull on the hair. You don't want that. That hurts, of course. Um, so you just go back and forth. Um, you brush and, and you can actually see when you lift it, there are lots of strands of adhesive just stretching and you can just brush those and they snap, snap, snap and open up to the point where you can cut more hair. Um, and it's, it's, it's slow going, but I think to get the remaining seven, um, it took me maybe 30 minutes. Um, it's definitely helpful if, if it's you <laughs> who's watching the video with the, with the sensors, it's really helpful if you can get somebody to, um, to do this for you because you know, when it's on your side and, you know, and especially if you're still not feeling well, um, having just left the hospital, um, see if you can get somebody to help. It took me about 30 minutes, um, and I think he only said, ow, one time. Um, so it was pretty good, pretty uh, pretty useful, and uh, also good to know, um, acetone can also be used on the diabetic sensors that they put um, on your, I think on your arms. Um, those have to be changed out periodically because um, they don't last forever. And you know, they will leave a ring of adhesive which will pick up all the dirt in the world. And then just like scrubbing it with soap and water doesn't really help. Use acetone for that as well. Acetone, for those of you who don't know, uh, is a common ingredient in nail polish remover. Um, a lot of them are consciously avoiding that ingredient so you can't just pick up any nail polish you have to make sure it says something about with acetone pure acetone will probably have speeded it up but um yeah if you just go to the uh go to walmart go to um really anywhere grocery stores pharmacies they're all gonna have it um next to the nail care supplies um and that's really all that you need um, I really hope that this helps somebody because um, just the thought of one ripping your ha hair out like <laughs> I have been waxed and it is not fun firstly and then secondly like you just came out of the hospital you really don't need that on your plate please just uh yeah do this it's easier and um, I hope that whomever you are watching this for you, yourself, the spouse, I hope you feel better. And also I want to quickly say thank you to the nurses and the doctor. Um, I understand why they weren't 
why he wasn't shaved. They're super busy. They are super selfless and they took really, really great of uh, care of my husband. So thank you to all the healthcare workers and I hope you'll have an awesome day.